Right, so Quinn Simmons won yesterday's stage in San Juan, and I'm gonna go through a couple of things in this video. First of all, we'll look at his numbers of how he won it with his massive attack in the last bit. We're then gonna go and talk about like, is this race pointless because it's just too easy? And then we'll have a little look about his training last of all, because it's kind of interesting. He does some stuff that I quite am quite a fan of. So anyway, going into this, you can see it was a very easy stage, like a joke of a stage, like literally like 197 watts. Like his average watts are less than two watts per kilo. Like so easy, right? But what's all important is actually this last bit. So you can see they're kind of going up a false flat drag. You can actually see it gets mildly hard at the end. Like they're doing five, 600 watts at the top, basically fighting for position. Again, it's not crazy, but it's like decent this bit, 500 watts for a minute. Like, okay, uh, is, is not bad, but we're gonna go to the finishing circuit. So you can see they finish on a racetrack circuit. So they came on onto the circuit. You can see like it's really, really high speed section on them on this like 53K an hour kind of slight downhill. You can see actually it's quite hard, 320 watts, uh, just because this bit here was a slight sort of uphill drag on the back straight into the corner. Uh, and it's like 435 watts. So it was decently hard. It was strung out, but nothing crazy. And, uh, and then Quinn Simmons, when he launched, I thought to be fair, uh, he's just going for a lead out, but we'll go from like this bit here to basically when he stops pedaling. Um, and it, it's, a, it's a very impressive effort. It's, it's 800 watts almost uh, for a minute, which is obviously like watts per kilo is whatever, but it's more the surge. Like if you look how hard it goes at the beginning to obviously keep the speed and then obviously at the end, he's going to fade. That's just the way it is. But you can see it like a thousand watts for 30 seconds. Now that is, that's where it gets away. On a slight uphill drag, that is really, really strong. And it's something that I think he's really good at. Um, and I think he can be a lot better. I remember in 2020, um, 2021 Strada Bianca, he was really, really strong. And I think it's the same, like he can, he can get really good results in these classics because he's got such a good punch and such a good sprint at this kind of opportunity to see heart rates, absolute max. Um, but yeah, really impressive ride. Uh, it's been the second year in a row, uh, or the last time they had San Juan was obviously ages ago, but the, la the last two times they've been on this course, the sprint hasn't won. I think it's because it's really hard to organize because there's like left and right as it goes uphill. So you're going to lose some of your lead out men because it is actually quite hard, that drag. Um, but anyway, someone was asking like, Burnout's doing like 100 watts. Like, why is he at this race? And honestly, I'm not going to lie. From like a kind of purely physiological point of view, there is zero point being this race. Like if you want to get this adaption, which is basically ride zone one for four hours, okay, it's motor paced, you could argue. I mean, you, could, you these people have uh, earn enough money. They could pay someone to to sit on the front of a scooter for four hours um, and then to cruise around at 200 watts and do some accelerations. So the question is, why are they here? Well, I think one of it was probably actually like publicity, okay? You track need to be at races. They get paid to get results. They have to be at races. It's a good race to do. You know, it's the same time as America for track, it probably makes sense to go. Um, there are some higher, harder finishes as well that, you know, the first couple of days are bad. But I think what you can use this is they probably come in really tired, right? Like, you know, from, they're not going to rest up for this race, especially someone like Quinn Simmons, who's not targeting it. Maybe something climbing guys, maybe it means more to them. They want to actually get a result. I'm not so sure. I kind of think none of them take it that seriously, though. So then you think realistically, they're just going to come in really, really like quite tired. First three days, basically just like soft tap round, get rid of the fatigue. So it's basically just like active recovery. And then towards the end, when the race gets harder, you know, it will actually be harder and it's a decent block. So I think that's why they come. It's also good to get them some race intensity and sort of like the accelerations you get, you, you can't replicate in training as much, but nonetheless, you can see some absolutely hilarious normalized powers here. Well, yeah, 500 watts. You can see the last 10 minutes is 400 watts. So that's actually decent, isn't it? Like, um, but yeah, Quinn Simmons is a big man. So anyway, that's why they're here. It's not a complete waste of time, but I, I do think like if you come in with decent uh, fatigue, it's, it's not horrendous. So anyway, he did actually crash. So if we look at like, okay, did he come in with big fatigue? I'm not actually sure he did. So then it, it seems more of a waste of time. So the week before he did like 12 hours, um, doesn't look crazy, does it? I guess it's kind of just like, you need to race, don't you? You've got to start racing at some point. But anyway, I want to go through some of this training stuff because um, some of his, his stuff is really interesting. He does a lot of seven hour rides. He really likes it. Um, you'll see again that he actually does quite a lot of low cadence intervals, but you'll also see that he does quite a lot of um, like four by eights um, and then into hour and a half at tempo. So this ride here is like a seven hour, just basically just sort of like bit on the taps all day. Um, not okay, crazy hard, but decent 240 normalized. You can see like 
on the climbs riding a bit harder but yeah just like zone two but proper zone two classic office work this is some over its cadence stuff what you'll see like a lot of guys do this year this is like kind of like you know lower tempo for him um sort of like 75 percent 80 percent of threshold i would imagine maybe maybe 70 percent 75 but a classic over under cadence so that's that's what he likes to do so nothing like crazy intense the only ones that are harder are some of these ones so you'll see here like 20 minutes at 320 and then you can see here he's doing like some 10 minute intervals these are all i think progressively getting higher in altitude so i guess they're going to progressively get harder in terms of like perceived exertion you can see like these are all low cadence ones as well um so again kind of like what you'd expect like nothing crazy but i will try and find you some of his more interesting efforts because he does he does have some some interesting ones which i think uh you wouldn't want to necessarily copy at home but i think it's interesting uh to see how he does it but also to see how he incorporates group rides into his training as well i think he uses them a lot uh in order to just add more tss uh than necessarily he would on his own so again here this is the one i was talking about so he does some eight minute intervals so you can see 440 probably around threshold um you can see heart rate's not taking some time to come up so probably is around threshold you would imagine um, which means his threshold is five and a half, which is actually isn't that bonkers. And then you can see he starts to, the last one he really opens up the tank, taps, goes up 20 watts. You can see heart rate coming up to 190. But we've seen his max is 200, so it's still not a max, max effort. He then has like 49 minutes, kind of just like zone one, uh, and then gets into an hour and a half tempo ish, um, I would say, uh, kind of low tempo. Um, but again, you can see here, like, uh, not, not crazy, like 150 heart rate. So considering his max is 200, this is not crazy hard, but it's like a decent press. Uh, and then finishes the ride just pretty pretty steady, to be honest. I think another half an hour at like 325. But yeah, so decent. Interesting to see, like maybe, you know, finish your intervals and then go on to something else. Um, again, this ride is just a classic zone two ride. If anything, maybe more zone one. Uh, 238 watts for him is probably not not too crazy. That says 57%. I think the thresholds might be higher than 420 as well. Um, but yeah, interesting intervals from him a uh, big win from Quinn Simmons but you can see he's not doing crazy intensity like he's not doing massive vo2 but still can win races which kind of shows that he's going to be in good condition towards the end of the year but anyway cheers for watching hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one